find us here by the beautiful aquarium. We're going to be talking about one of the top four commercial species in South Africa. That is the Cape Yellowtail, Seriola lalandi. Now, the Cape Yellowtail, I'm assuming pretty much everybody will know what it looks like. You've got a torpedo fish. So overall quite a chunky body if you cut them sideways like that. That's why they make very nice steaks. They sort of a bluey color on the top working their way down to a white belly with a little bit of yellow in between. So very similar to a rainbow runner but not as pointed at either side. Um, yeah, you get them pretty much from central KZN, so from Durban all the way down into the Cape. They are a very very powerful fish they that body structure the whole torpedo shape gives them a lot of lot of muscle to power their tail um, they've got they they more offshore operators you're not really going to get them in the shallow waters except down in the cape where you're getting some deeper waters close to shore where you can actually spin for them spawning wise it's going to be november through to february so sort of that at that summer time um, and yeah as we mentioned all the way from central kzn becoming more and more um, abundant as you go lower down into Cape Town. Size-wise and things like that, it's a fish that attains about a meter and a half. Um, here in South Africa, a fish of a meter is a good, is a good fish. I mean, that's a, that's a big fish. Um, across there in New Zealand, where they call them kingfish, then you get them up to, to, to giants. I mean, a meter and a half is possible there. And uh, places like Three Kings Island and stuff like that, where they throw stick baits for them. They do get them there. Um, yeah, they are an extremely popular aquaculture species. Now, if you don't know what aquaculture is, it's a fascinating thing to look into. Um, basically, it's farming of uh, anything aquatic. Um, specifically, when it comes to fish and things like that, they grow them in pens um, out to sea. They have a pen that goes there and then they harvest the fish as they get to sort of a certain size limit. So, all those yellowtail and stuff that you see as bait, generally, generally as bait, and when you get them in the supermarkets, you notice they're all about the same size, and that's because they're all coming from aquaculture. So all those yellowtail, about a kilo, 750 to a kilo, then they pull them out the tanks, and then they, they keep them, or put them aside as bait and as eating. Yellowtail like shoaling together. Um, only really the giants you're going to get as singles or sort of groups of up to about five or so. The other ones you're going to find in massive shoals and generally around pinnacles, reef structure, things like that, any sort of change in the bottom. Um, and obviously that makes them vulnerable to, to targeting because now you've got a big congregation of them, or aggregation at least, and you can now target them. And once you caught one, generally it gets sort of that hype going up and they, they all start feeding. Um, your maximum age that they've recorded uh, about 21 years, so a fairly old old fish, um, and I think they get up to about 60 kilos, 58, 60 kilos thereabouts. Very very strong fish. You're going to be targeting them mainly on on lures. They do like a, a smaller live bait, so a little mozzie or little mackerel things like that that will eat. Uh, and yeah, in special Shelly Beach and places like that, you can target them on the bigger live baits where you're going to get the bigger fish down here. Your lure wise, pretty much any of the your lip lures, so the rattlers and almost all of the sizes work, whether you're on a ski boat or whether you're on a paddle ski, just going to depend on what you're going with. Obviously, paddle ski, shallower lip because it's less work to actually have to paddle. Ski boat, you can go deeper if you want to go, or deeper lips if you want to go to, to target them in the deeper water. Also works very well for them is jigs. Um, so your long johns, your squiddies, um, and your evil eye jigs are going to work deadly, deadly for them, especially if you need to get down to the deep water. But uh, just a word of warning, heavy tackle. You don't want to target these fish with light tackle. They are strong, they will show you up. The guys do get them on um, spear fishing because you can get down to, if you can get down to the aggregations from the deeper water where it comes up. And yeah, they make a very good uh, eating fish. They are not heavily exploited to a degree. They are one of the top four, the top four um, commercial species, but obviously they do grow very quickly as a pelagic species, so you can sort of take a few more. But obviously, catch as few as you can, and um, or catch as much as you can, release as many as you can, keep one or two. And yeah, the yellowtail, Seriola lalani. Cheers, guys.